Hi. In this short tutorial, we're going to see how you can use smart objects to fade a poster by changing the color mode. This is the pristine poster. As you can see, it has four layers, a couple of type layers, which have strokes applied, the poster layer, which has a small drop shadow, and the wall, which is behind all of them. The poster is supposed to be pasted to the wall. Now, when you have a poster hanging in the sun, it starts to fade. First the yellow ink fades, and then the magenta. I'm sure you've all seen posters that were faded away to cyan and black, and perhaps even just black. If this was a four-color image in CMYK mode, it would be really easy to show that. But it's not. It's a three-color RGB, red, green, blue image, and I'd like to keep it that way. As it turns out, in any version of Photoshop that has smart objects, I can have it both ways, because the stuff inside the smart object container does not have to have the same mode or color space as the image itself. Let's see how that works. First, I'm going to make a backup of the poster because it's always a good idea to have backups of stuff. So I'm going to hold down the Command key, that's Control on a PC, and tap J, and that makes my copy. I'm going to drag this down behind the wall. Since the wall is opaque and covers the entire layer, now I don't have to worry about the visibility of this poster. It's not going to be shown no matter what. Then just go up to the poster copy, go to the Layer Panel menu over here, and choose Convert to Smart Object. You can tell it's done that because now there's a little badge here on the thumbnail. If I double click on that thumbnail, I will open the PSB file that is associated with this particular smart object. I like to think of this as Photoshop Big. Then I just go to Image, Mode, CMYK Color. It'll ask me if I really want to do that unless I've said don't show this again. Um, yes, I want to do that. That's what I'm doing. So I'm going to click OK. And now it is in CMYK. You probably can't tell the difference, but it is. So if we go over here to part of the layer menu that doesn't have anything on it over here in the um, layer panel, and double click, we can open up the layer style dialog box. And if you look at the middle at advanced blending, you can see that it has the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black channels. We're going to click to disable the yellow channel, and that makes it go away. It's just gone from the image. It will not be used or shown. So in this case, we're going to also disable the magenta and click OK. Now that's a little more faded than I wanted, so what I'm going to do is hold down the Option key, and I'm going to make another copy. You can make copies of layers in several different ways. You can do everything in several different ways in Photoshop. I'm going to double-click to open this one as well. Disable Cyan and Black, and Enable Magenta. Click OK, and then I'm going to use the Opacity to fade the magenta out to about where I want it for this particular image. I can leave that on Normal Mode, doesn't have to change. And when it looks good, which it does now, I will save it. Pay attention to what happens over here on the main image when I save. See, it updates. As soon as you save a smart object, it updates on the main image. And there you go. The poster colors have been faded out, so they look really old and faded, but the stroke is still yellow. Now, I could have faded that out to white by putting them all in the same smart object. You can put a lot of different layers and things into smart objects. It's fine. But in this particular case, it's easier to just double click on the FX and open up the layer style again and go to Stroke, Color, and change that to white. Click OK. And since I want the same stroke color on the other layer, I'm just going to hold down the Option key and drag the FX up, and that will copy it onto the other layer. And there's my poster. All the colors have been faded out. I'm going to fade it a little bit more by adding a new layer at the top of the layer stack. I'm going to tap the D key to make sure that I have my default colors of black and white. And then I'm going to go over here to Filter, Render, Clouds, and that will give me this sort of modeled effect. I'm going to change the blend mode here to Screen, and I'm going to reduce the opacity because that's way too much. That looks about right. But it has also faded the wall, and I didn't want that. So the way I'm going to take care of that is to hold down the Command key, that's Control on a PC, and click on the thumbnail for the poster. That will select just the active pixels in that layer. It doesn't make any difference that it's in a smart object. It'll select the active ones just the same. Then go down here to the New Mask icon, click on it, and I have a new layer mask. And now the fade is just on the poster and not on the wall, exactly the way I wanted it. Let's call this Fade, because it's always a good idea to name your layers. And that takes care of the fading. Next time, I'll show you how to scarf it up with holes and things using masks. This has been Robin Wood, and I hope you found this helpful.